Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein, Quick Hitter Edition. It's been a couple of weeks, and we're going to go back up to the Great White North in Canada and give you an update on the war or the multiple wars that have erupted over the last couple of years. And no surprise, it has not slowed down. Two murders in the last month uh, in eastern Quebec that authorities are tying to the unrest between the Hells Angels uh, in Quebec City and the Blood Family Mafia, uh, which is a street gang based out of Quebec City that is aligned with the Rizzuto mob, the Sicilian Rizzuto mob in Montreal, who are also fighting a war with the Hells Angels. But it seems like the, uh, the conflict that is moving at the most breakneck clip right now is this outside of Montreal, uh, Blood Family Mafia versus the Quebec City Hells Angels. So at the first run of the year back in April, a uh, Hells Angels clubhouse, uh, or I should say a Hells Angels support clubs clubhouse, the Red Devils, um, came under attack um, in, in, the, in the eastern uh, Quebec region. And then we had some shootings and fire bombings a couple weeks ago. And then we just found out uh, around the same 24 hours of the shooting um, that took place in Quebec City and, and, and the fire bombings all took place in the same 24 hours. Well, at that same time in Eastern Quebec, there was a murder of a Hells Angel affiliate named, and, named Andre Bourgois, uh, who uh, went down with the Hells Angels in a drug bust a while back. Uh, according to the Dirty News, we shout out the Dirty News whenever we can, the best true crime blog in Canada right now. According to the Dirty News is reporting, uh, Bourgois got caught in the middle of this conflict and had been allegedly negotiating to leave the Hells Angels side of the war and jump to the Blood Family Mafia side of the war. His murder, we're not sure if it started off as an attempted homicide or if it was just going to be a beating that turned into a homicide, but uh, he died in a street brawl uh, outside of a bar where five member or five Hells Angels affiliates are now in custody. One of them is a former college football player. Uh, but at the end of the brawl, uh, uh, Bourgeois was dead. And then just last week, a body was found. And this is really gruesome. It looks now to be a the body of a 14-year-old boy who, according to reports, was caught either trying to set a Hells Angel affiliate clubhouse on fire or to perpetrate a drive-by shooting of some sort and was caught. Um, the belief from the authorities is that he was killed inside the Red Devils Motorcycle Club clubhouse. This is all happening around Frampton. Um, and then his body was dumped near the uh, Dark Souls Motorcycle Club clubhouse uh, both dark souls and red devils in frampton are in frampton are support clubs of the hell's angels so i think we've kind of we've we've crossed a line here in september of, of 2024 when we're starting to kill kids and uh and torch their bodies it's gotten pretty extreme it's definitely a message murder that we don't care how old you are. We don't care where you're from. I mean, in the case of both of these situations, uh, Bourgoin was a former, you know, he wasn't a Hells Angels, but he was working with these guys. Um, it didn't matter. He's dead. The 14-year-old boy who 
it seems, was sent by Blood Family Mafia uh, to attack in some way, shape, or form the Red Devils uh, clubhouse. It, I'm just, I'm kind of at a loss. Uh, it's, uh, it's one of the more heinous murders tied to organized crime that I've covered in 15 years of doing this, 16 years of doing this. We don't know the guy's name, but it's most likely right now, according to media reports there, that uh, it, it was a 14-year-old boy and that uh, they found his uh, his body uh, burnt to a crisp. So just a lot popping off right now uh, regarding the, the Blood Family Mafia, Hells Angels uh, conflict. No word on Ice Pick Termel, the leader of, of, of Blood Family Mafia, who's been on the run now for 15 months. Um, hasn't been seen in Canada since the uh, early summer of 23. There, you know, and, and then we should also kind of put a cap on this and say that, you know, this is the fourth and fifth murder tied to this conflict that erupted in. Um, in uh, 23 and that uh, you can add it to Dooney Guerin, November 23. You can add it to um, Patrick Martin, Riv, one of um, one of Termel's uh, best friends and top lieutenants who was killed in a kidnapping go uh, gone wrong. And, you know, that's another kind of, point of no return back in the winter when allegedly Tremel from Europe ordered the kidnapping of Mario Auger and his relatives, uh, Mario the Banana, Sergeant at Arms of Quebec City, Hells Angels, OG, a uh, guy that allegedly has bodies. And um, you attacked him, you attacked his his family, you cut off his, his nephew's fingers and toes. Martin was killed in, in that situation, but that seems to have really ramped things up. And Tramel's got a, a, according to our sources, has a half a million dollar open murder contract on his head. Auger is in prison right now or in jail right now, fighting his own drug case that came the weeks after this, weeks after he had left and actually, according to our sources, had gone to Europe to look for Tramel. But uh, Tramel has not been seen, his right hand, bodyguard uh the rhino ruben denis was was apprehended in portugal a couple months ago but nothing from ice pick word is that he might be in north africa right now in morocco he's being hidden by the risuttos there's no way a 28 year old street kid gangbanger from quebec city could spend a year and a half on the run throughout europe and north africa and not be getting help so We'll keep tabs on it. It keeps getting crazier out in Canada. Two more murders to add to the body count in the Blood Family Mafia Hells Angels War in the Great White North. We'll have another update for you in the next week. Scott Bernstein, OG Pod. I'm out.